It's the boss of Bitcoin, the Cristo of crypto. It's your boy BK. And if you don't like me, you must not like money. Today is June 6, 2017. Bitcoin is $2,875, an all time high. Um, and you'll see this actually did a lot inside the market. Uh, we're going to get right to it. Again, we got over 1,300 subscribers inside of two weeks. What I need you guys to do, I see we got 35 people live on the air right now. Get on there, hit that thumbs up button, like this video. What it does is it tells YouTube we're live on the air so that way everybody else inside our community gets notified. They can jump on and uh, see this video as well. I got a few different charting tools for you. Um, one of them in particular, uh, is for Dash, the other one is for Bitcoin, and both of them uh, should help you guys make some money and make some better trades along the way. Uh, first things first, let's look at Dash. Um, I know I put a video out a few days ago saying Dash is cash, and when you look at it, you know, when I made that video, this was the reality that we were in. You know, we were making what they call lower lows, um, and we were actually in an uptrend, right? So when you look at it, I'm gonna take these yellow lines out there. We don't need those right now. We were forming what's called a wedge, okay? Um, you take the lows, you draw a line from the lows, and our bottom line is the um, support. Right. So that whole time, Dash had went up to the top, came back down to the bottom, went up to the top, came back down to the bottom, went up to the top, came back down to the bottom. And then the bottom fell out. Why did the bottom fall out? Um, this is actually because Bitcoin took the money. If you think about it, we, we talk about the cryptocurrency market as a beating heart when one side, you know, is active the other side's relaxing and that's exactly what happened to dash it's actually really sad because this thing was forming a very 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 nice reversal pattern we're coming off you know uh resistance right here we broke through it we held it we went up again and we're about ready to explode out and then bitcoin messed around and hit an all-time high it broke through 2200 it held at 2500 and now it's at 2800 and dash has not recovered um, if we look at the chart right now this is why you know if you're trading this i would think what now would be a good time to get out of it it doesn't have a lot of momentum inside of it anymore uh, we take our high to high trend line copy and paste we drop that down to our low to lows. This was our line we were riding uh, for a while, right here, kind of getting tighter in there, tighter in there. This actually formed, once it broke that line right there, it formed a new downtrend. And after this, kind of the bottom fell out right here. You can see um, this was actually yesterday evening, 6-5. Uh, yesterday evening, the bottom fell out. And now Dash is in a confirmed downtrend to where it should be living inside that channel right here. This is the new channel. Before we were up here, now we were up there. And, and you can kind of see over time how it, how it flipped. But when you think about it, if we go out, you know, this moment right here, what is this? June 4th, 8 p.m. That's when this whole thing turned around. And let's jump over to Bitcoin now to see, and I just, you know, I know this hurts. It hurt my heart so bad, you know, so in remembrance of Dash, you know, I wanted to play a couple seconds of, this is how I felt waiting on it to turn around. I was waiting. Mm. It hurt. It hurt so bad. Mm. Dang, come on, come on. Mm. Okay. It didn't do it, y'all. It didn't do it. It hurt my heart. That was one of the top cryptos I had picked for this month off of a, rever off a reversal, and, and it hurt. It hurt. So trust me, I will be the first to let you know when this thing turns around, just as I'm the first to let you know when to sell it. All right? Moving on. Let's look at Bitcoin. 
Bitcoin, again, all time highs. What does that mean? A lot of new money. All right. We just saw on the dash chart 8 p.m. on the 4th, uh, about 8 p.m. on the 4th. Was that all time high right there? Where'd it go? On the 4th? Where was that? Somewhere in there. Okay. So what do we? What did I want to show you at Bitcoin? Bitcoin again is it, it bounced and it held. What does that mean? That means that we have a, a new shot at life on Bitcoin. So it's a lot of people excited about Bitcoin and a lot of people looking to uh, get into this market. You know, people. I had some a guy. Um, message me today that hasn't even bought in the Bitcoin yet. And because now it's at an all time high, it's on CNBC and all these big news stations. They're talking about Bitcoin is, you know, worth more than gold and, you know, four times the price of silver and all these different comparables. So you have a lot more people looking at getting in the market, you know, when it's at an all time high. So how do we know we have new life right here at Bitcoin? Uh, what we do is we take our trend line, right? We do high to high, and you can see this is a good trend line because it even confirms it in the past. That's also a good way to check is we look back in the past, and if it taps a line and it still holds there, you know you got a good trend line, all right? So just to find the channel that Bitcoin is living in right now, Command C, Command V, and we connect the lows. And outside of that little dip right there, this was the channel that Bitcoin lived in for uh, the past couple days. This was a nice uptrend channel. And actually, it goes back a lot farther than that. This was about, you know, almost a two week channel. So it had a lot of momentum going in that channel. And what ended up happening, and uh, this is actually that 6 4 moment right here, when I thought Dash was going to turn around. Uh, June 4th at 8 p.m. I thought Dash was ready to turn around. I put that video up, said Dash is cash, and Bitcoin said, no, it's not. I'm still the boss. So Bitcoin came back around rolling like a mighty thunder, and it went straight to the top. What happened when it got to the top? It fell, but it only fell to the middle of the channel that it was in. And soon as it caught itself, it broke back out of that channel. What we call that right there is a bearish confirmation, or a, I'm sorry, a bullish confirmation, which means this thing has spiked through the support line. It fell, caught, its, caught itself, and went right back up in it. So now we know that Bitcoin is no longer living in that bottom channel. This is going to be the new channel that Bitcoin rides in. Uh, so whereas before, you know, it was down here around 2,500 for the bottom line. Now it's up here at 2,800. So as you look over time, look for Bitcoin to continue to go higher. And as long as it's in this channel, it will be good. You do have a couple uh, psychological barriers coming up. And also one good thing to note is it actually broke through uh, the all time resistance right there. So now you've almost got like two major lines of support. You got this new uh, yellow channel that we're running in, and you got this new white channel. So even if Bitcoin does, you know, do something like that where it's going up, it breaks through, comes back down, and breaks out, it still has this white channel to recover. And as long as it's gets back up in there yellow, it should be good to go. All right. So that's what you can start to look at with Bitcoin. It's going to, and also it's going to continue to form uh, higher lows. So as long as it doesn't go, um, let's see, I got to give me one thing. As long as it doesn't go lower than this channel down here, Low to low, where's our low to low line? Yeah. Look at that. That was a very, very, very good line right there. So Bitcoin will be riding in this one. It might break through, but as long as it doesn't go below that white one and that yellow one, it'll be good. All right. And you could see your boy is pretty good at drawing these trend lines and catching it. I did that. I freestyled this blue line right there and it caught on both of them. So this is the new life of Bitcoin. It's it's reborn. It's a it's a beautiful future. 
Dash was not able to make the reversal we saw uh, that it had planned for it, but Bitcoin is still good to go. When one side is beaten, the other side's relaxing. You can still make money in this market. It just looks like it's going to be coming from BTC. And then once Bitcoin pulls back, look for those other cryptos to pick up. That's the Ethereum, the Ripple, Nimcoin. Hopefully Dash come around. I'll be the first to let you know. Listen, get in those comments. You know, make sure you stay engaged. If you have any other coins you want to see, let me know. Uh, we do have a couple other videos that do some charting tools like this in our in our playlist called How to Predict the Future. Make sure you check that out. Like, subscribe. We do videos. I try to put a new video out every day of the week. So make sure you turn your notifications on. This is your boy BK signing out and I'll see y'all next time. Peace.